Hey, everybody. This is going to be part five in uh, me sharing my goal lessons with you. So let's take a look. Standard stuff. Uh, we talked about this in one of the other videos. Um, this is fine if you don't want to develop the top, if you just want to stabilize. But here, Black likes developing the top, so this is better. But here, this white honey is not good, but I felt unsure how to punish. A is clearly too aggressive, but it does threaten to kill the corner. So I spent time, I'm, I've, I've faced this move a number of times, and I've spent time trying to think of, well, if I cut, is there a way this is, you know, big punishment? Now I'm about to kill the corner. And I'm about to, the short of it is, white ends up getting a super thick group and it's just not worth it. So yeah, A is no good, but I give it a try. Uh, B, would one would think is the obvious move, but I was concerned about the cut. Um, but he's like, just don't think about it, just honey. That's <laughs> like, that's how much the how useful the, the Hana is. And I'm thinking if we can't play B, should we back up to C or D or something? No, just Hana. Okay, so that's all obvious and clear. Sometimes I like to just get reminded, yeah, go ahead, play the move you know. Okay, good. Here, I struggled between A and B. <clears throat> B is the obvious move in that it makes me strong. Finishes the shape, makes me strong. But one always wants to do all one can. So I'm thinking, can I press it A? Am I then doing more? And he showed that if we just make this black-white exchange, white's shape, white's position is really thick and excellent, and I have to come back. So that's, that's no good. And if I play this move, my shape is excellent. Now, he had a lot to say about making proper shapes. Uh, and we'll see a little bit of that really soon. But it's, in his mind, it was tremendously important to make good shapes. So let's take a look at this shape thing here. And we'll look at if white continues. Okay, so let's have, we'll both do all our stuff here. Okay. <clears throat> so he asked me, who's better, black or white? And a little hard to say because black shape on top, black is perfectly strong making the top practical but the left is i mean it's white sente and the left is enormous even though there's some some weaknesses and his thought was oh there's really no comparison black is better this is first this is the exchange likely going to happen at which point this is a real cut not that we're going to cut at this moment but it's a real cut. And if you don't see that, if he tries the ladder, then Atari, and out we come, and then so it's a cut here, is the point. And if that doesn't work out, there's the peep. And there's weaknesses here, which make living on the left easy for black. Even if I were to play, e easy. 
He says, I can't even imagine this black stone dying. While white playing on top, we're not saying that white cannot live on top in some way, but the cost is going to be great. So, okay. Pay more attention to my shapes. Got it. So black should be playing here. Now, for white, now this isn't the game. This is if black played appropriately. He said white's next move will be at A. That actually threw me. <clears throat> um, the reason it threw me, well, the real reason it threw me is my lazy thinking. And this comes back to, I'm teaching all the time, right? I've been teaching for almost 40 years. So it's like you get in this certain mindset of, oh, just do, do the principle. And I forget about thinking it through. And I just follow blindly rather than each time you're supposed to think it through. So he's saying white A because, first, it's not a hard move. White has three options for health. Everything's fine. Also, black has, and he phrased this a few times uh, throughout the lesson, black has invested a lot of resources to make the top big. So take it away. Okay, that makes sense. Well, to me, C is so much easier than A. He says, well, yeah, but if he plays this way, um this could really i mean you're not going to be able to invade the top anymore well it's kind of like now's the last chance to invade the top anyway then we talked about this he says well this is actually playable it's more like uh do you want to uh, battle moyos or live inside his moyo right away he says that he thought a was bigger but that b was playable so a lot of interesting things there for me. Okay, I pressed and white haunted, which white shouldn't. At this point, I pretty much need to, well, I guess this is my sente now because he has to come back and fix. So I get the first move. So that's probably okay. But I cut because I'm seeing a whole bunch of white problems. And I'm not sure I see that in black shape. I can either Atari first and fight. It's a little risky. Or just connect, which is a little less risky. So black has a bad position is the point. I get out. I'm threatening a whole bunch of killing things, and I live in the corner. I fix my shape, <clears throat> and now the pos this position and the positions coming really changed. This isn't something I knew. This is a different way. I don't look at the game this way. But I should. Yeah. I tend to look at moves like A. Black's getting profit. Black is attacking white. As white comes out, black runs easily. Doesn't that sound good? That sounds great. He says no. First, white's points on top are going to be quite minimal, especially when you consider the end game that black has. It's just not impressive. So, so what you want is the habit of running from your weak running from your weak group. So run out. And if white comes out, just it's not a settled group yet. Run from your weak group. Run from your weak group. 
then of course we see the right that black's getting a great deal of profit there and white can't counterattack because black has been playing for them as a weak group now i know play from your weak group but in fighting i tend to think of the b stones as linchpins the idea being that as black runs out white's got weaknesses everywhere now that's got me in trouble more times than i can count so i should have figured it out but he's saying yeah run from your weak group now again should i be running at a or b now his answer of course is well if a is cut don't do it but and it has to yeah so um i'm thinking white is so weak that he has no right to cut me and indeed if that's correct then it's a fine idea but he's saying that because of these shortage of liberties see how few liberties there are he says that could get you in trouble he didn't even bother reading it out he just says there's clearly trouble here and it's not like oh you can't play this way you're gonna die no it's trouble you don't want to go in directions that are difficult and troublesome so play b instead okay makes sense play okay why play this way he says so i'm ready to play a right same idea here i'm getting a corner i'm attacking white and he says no play play from your weak group right get your weak group out he says and don't worry about this because the points again the points are really small for white don't worry about the points weak groups don't make a lot of points so you see this over and over this thing i'm trying to get i always wondered i've never been good with playing on my center groups when is it important when is it weak when is it strong there's a lot of questions there so when he says play for me weak group until it's not weak anymore so like, okay i did play here i'm out uh a and b are both fine but only because you have to come back and save the b cut so white doesn't have time so in other words you save it or just save it they're both fine um, and now we're left with here's the linchpin thing again my d group is not about to get surrounded i've got lots of running possibilities so shall i start moving my c stone out this white has no eyes over there see the thinking my d group has so much room to run how about i start a fight rather than no play from your weak group a might get cut so play b I'm like oh that's different for me not just that but then he adds and then finish up I'm like, okay that's i'm not used to thinking that way okay even though I played this still, but only because it's so big on the right. Okay, we continue. Here, check out a few moves. This finishes everything up and is really big on the right. Well, is that true or not true? It's, it's large scale on the right, but white can still just live there so and the c group is strong now and the corner's fine so there's no reason for a he says if you're gonna play there i would just assume play d that's much more practical well, okay but all that aside you should be playing b obviously which is what i did now 
A is the normal move. Notice that B is further into his moyo, his left side moyo, and still safe. But I so rarely played B, it didn't even cross my mind. But we'll see it again in a moment. Here, my first thought. I don't want this, right? White's getting a massive area. So I want to save my stone. How do you do that? Well, it just so happens there's a strong white stone there. So contact the strong stone. <clears throat> Which is what I did. But my confidence level was low. I might, that's what I would do every time. But it's like, is he going to tell me not to do that? I wanted to ask him. He's, and I said, is it obvious? He says, oh, yes, it's obvious. Okay, great. Good to know. I thought it was obvious. So let's play that out. Okay, so check this shape out. It's your basic black is proceeding to live. Okay, now let's do it again. Do it this way. More room to live. So this, I hadn't read the, this out. I didn't even consider it because I'm so used to approaching with the knight's move rather than the long knight's move. Okay, so this would have been better for me. Contact, we got to here. <clears throat> and now I'm wondering, A or C? I don't like A. I'm running out into, I'm not getting the eyes. I'm thin. I'm not even sure I'm out yet. It's like, well, A gives you B. So it's going to be sent A, then you keep running. He says, C's fine too, just live, that's fine too. Just what I did. And so I get a strong group and play away. Now, I believe that's the end. Yeah, that's the end of what we looked at. And for me, the big takeaway was this black group. I tend to use it, I'll attack here and keep attacking, then run out. And look at all the profit I got on top. And even now saying it, I'm like, right, exactly. Isn't that wonderful? He's like, no, you just have weaknesses now. And that's going to come back. For instance, this is white sente, and look what white's getting. More than what you got. And he says it's just always that way. So play from your weak group. Play from your weak group. This is this is new for me. I mentioned I just said it in the video, but center groups, what do you do with them? Sometimes you give them up. Sometimes you fight with them. Sometimes you develop them. I have never felt comfortable with center groups. Okay. Thanks for letting me share. Hopefully it's meaningful. And we will catch you all later. Bye.